The Model 3 Performance is probably the best performance electric vehicle you can buy on the market hands down. Uh, it is going to feature high performance braking capabilities. The performance variant ventilated, but the upgraded seats with more bolstering, more holding. So when you're ready to hit the track, let's get into it. The Model 3 Performance is probably the best performance electric vehicle you can buy on the market hands down. Uh, that is until the new Performance Model 3 comes out and it's actually coming out very, very soon, probably in the next week or so. So today in this video, we're gonna talk about everything there is to know about this new Model 3 Performance that is soon to be released and all the details that have leaked. Let's get into it. Okay, now many pictures of the new Performance Model 3 have leaked. You guys have seen the new upgraded seats similar to what the Model X just got is going to be found in the new model threes those leaked pictures are online but you guys have also seen that in the rear there is new badging it's very similar to the model s and x plaid but it's not quite plaid it's ludicrous if you know the reference to space balls you'll know that uh, the speed faster than ludicrous is plaid and while it's not a model s x plaid speed it's still damn fast so it's getting a ludicrous badge but it's still going to be just known as the model 3 performance probably the new model 3 performance so i'm excited about that but through some source code online on tesla's uk site a lot more of the specs of this new model 3 that's very very close to release has been leaked so let me cover what that showed on this new performance model 3. Now, if you know Tesla, you know they don't skimp on power and speed. It, it, through the source code, it did indicate that this was going to be the most powerful Model 3 to date. However, there was no zero to 60 speed uh, listed or found, but we did find what the horsepower is gonna be. 500 horsepower on the new Performance Model 3. That's up almost 100 horsepower than the current Performance Model 3. So you can expect some pretty serious competitive zero to 60 times. I don't think it's going to be as fast as our Plaid Model S variant, but pretty close. That's gonna be pretty exciting, especially for you track guys. Speaking of track, there is a whole much more uh, that this Model 3 is gonna have. Uh, let me tell you what else. Okay, when talking about track mode, this is gonna be track mode version 3.0. I didn't even know there were versions to track mode. Now in that track mode, there's gonna be calibration to the powertrain, adaptive suspension. So that means there's gonna be sensors that will detect how fast you're going, the road conditions, and adjust your suspension accordingly. Not quite as good as air suspension, but a little bit different. If it can do it fast enough, that'll be really good for tracking your vehicle. Um, so really cool stuff on that for those of you who love to track your car. Plus, you'll be able to customize handling balance, stability controls, and regenerative braking to really get a really good ride on the track and wherever else. But track mode version 3.0 is coming to the new Performance Model 3. Not only that, but you are gonna see visual differences between the new Performance Model 3 and the current new Model 3. Uh, let me talk to you about what those differences are gonna be. Now, the Performance Model 3 is gonna look just like the new Model 3, but of course, a bit more sportier. It's gonna have a carbon fiber spoiler, a rear diffuser, a front splitter, the ludicrous badging. A lot of these elements, obviously not the badging, add to the enhancement of the performance of the vehicle. Really keep that in tune and add to the functionality of this performance level vehicle um, with these elements. Now let's talk about what else. Now what's a performance vehicle without performance wheels? The new Performance Model 3 is gonna feature forged performance wheels. Um, they're actually going to be staggered. They're obviously gonna be lightweight and it's gonna help with stability, cornering, um, and just overall uh, performance with this performance performance level Model 3. So that's gonna be cool. Also, on the inside, we're gonna get ventilated seats. Obviously, we saw that in the new Model 3, but hey, the performance variant ventilated, but the upgraded seats with more bolstering, more holding. So when you're ready to hit the track, you're gonna be held in place in your Performance Model 3. Now, of course, with performance wheels, you're gonna need performance brakes. And so with the new Performance Model 3, uh, it is going to feature high performance braking capabilities. Uh, that's gonna feature um, enhanced pedal feel as well as improved uh, braking temperature regulation. So uh, no matter what the temperature is of where you're driving or how 
hot it gets in here, it's gonna be able to handle it. Now, I do wanna talk about the adaptive suspension and chassis of the new Performance Model 3. You see, the adaptive damping is powered by an in-house software which is going to give you a very enhanced uh, body control of the vehicle without sacrificing your daily drive and comfort that you're used to. Uh, think of it as it's super in tune with the driver inputs, how you're driving, the speed you're driving, the conditions that you're driving in, the adaptive dampening will actually adjust and give you either a smoother ride or a more firm ride. Uh, think of when you are on the track, you're gonna want a more stiffer, firmer vehicle uh, to make those corners uh, really tight. Now, this is coming from someone that doesn't know a whole lot about tracking as I've never tracked my vehicle, but upon speaking to fellow trackers, I learned this and I thought this was really important um, since I think this is the only vehicle to have this um, as the Model S and X have air suspension. And because this is the first of its kind, that's why the Performance Model 3 will be the only performance variant of all of Tesla's lines to get track mode version 3.0. Now, while the Performance Model 3 will share a lot of the same design elements of the new Model 3, there are two things that were called out is that it would have a new enhanced daytime running light that would enhance visibility, as well as some sort of sensor built into the headlights that would detect stop signs, which is kind of interesting since the cameras already do that today. So interested in what that actually means. I don't know, but I'm curious to know what you think. Is there anything that I may have missed about the new Performance Model 3 that you know of? Leave them down in the comments down below. Are you excited? Are you picking up a Performance Model 3? Because I, I'm wondering at that price point, I don't think there's a better, faster vehicle that you can get than the Performance variant of the Model 3. So. Let me know down below. Again, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll get behind the Performance Model 3 and give you an actual first-hand experience drive.